Ah, it seems we're back in Siberia. Northeastern Siberia, to be precise. And it seems we've survived the avalanche. Hooray! A solid plan, if ever there was one. Got to find shelter. Wow, that is some deep ass snow. Or maybe I should say, ass deep snow. See what I did there? You get it? Because, yeah, yeah, I think you get it. Is that wolves in the background? I I don't need wolves right now. An old camp. Okay. Okay. Got to start a fire. Gather resources to build a fire and shelter. Okay. Why not? Oh, now I get why they call it survival instincts. This game actually has a survival element. Ha, huh, who would have thought? Certainly different. Okay, that's my work. Not enough to last the night. Uh, need to gather more. Dry enough to burn. I hope. Of course, as every survival expert knows, you need at least three dead trees to make a proper fire. Fresh kill. No meat, but... Oh, ho, ho, no, ho, ho. no, 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 no. Nope. Nope, you're not there. Go away. Back to camp. Man, I don't know why, but this game really affects me physically. Those, literally just seeing those wolves rush past, it gave me goosebumps. What is this game doing to me, and why? Move, damn it. Yes, please move. I, I think we could do with that fire relatively soon. That's much better. Almost feels like home. Trinity? They found us already. Of course they have. Well, they're gonna see what's gonna come of that. Oh yes, a homemade bow. Time to go Rambo on their backsides. Bring it on, Trinity. Going to need a stronger bow. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I... I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. 
This is my path, and mine alone. Okay then, I guess things just turned really serious. Ah, brand new bow, and I can already upgrade it with reinforced limbs for extra damage. Ah, but I need more resources to be able to upgrade it further. Okay, fair enough. And since I'm playing the Ultra Mega 20th Anniversary Edition with all of the bundles included, I also have access to all of the alternate sets of clothing. Well, since we've now become kind of a hunter-gatherer, it seems, it might as well be worth changing our outfit to adapt to that role. Hmm, there are all sorts of modern outfits, but no. No, I think we'll go with one of the earlier ones. Yeah, let's go with the Sparrowhawk. Light-coloured hide topped with a grey scarf, ideal for hunting in snowy environments. Outfit bonus, non-predatory animals scare less easy, making them easier prey. I think they meant scare less easily, not scare less easy. There are certain standards that just must be fulfilled. Oh, and look at that, a free skill point. Let's take a look at the hunter category to go along with my hunting outfit. Siberian squirrels beware, I'm coming for you. Hmm, being able to track down larger animals more easily. Well, this is Russia after all, so you never know how big those squirrels are going to be. I think that will do quite nicely, thank you. And with that, I think it's about time we finally got moving again. These tombs won't raid themselves after all. Oh goody, more DLC content, and I don't even know what this is. Get it away. I'll take a look at it later, maybe. I don't have time. What I do have time for is checking out this year's hottest caveman haute couture. This year's hottest outfit in the Neanderthal style made from purely natural materials. If it didn't have a face, I'm not wearing it. Oh look, a bird's nest. I wonder what that's good for. And it seems I will be left wondering because it got stuck and I can't actually get at it. It's right in front of your face, woman. Come on. Fine, forget it. I wasn't really interested anyway. Let me just gather some more twigs then. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give it one last try. If at first you don't succeed, maybe you'll succeed later. Or maybe not. What was that? Oh, it's coming right for me. It had to be done. I mean, I gave it every chance to walk away, but it came at me. I, I just had to defend myself. I had to. Also, delicious, delicious resources. Okay, now we've gone full on Assassin's Creed 3. Right, this jumping from tree to tree and the eagle vision. Now all I need is some Templars, I mean Trinity goons to take care of. I have learned all I can from the carnage inside the Prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few days. The false prophet's followers died here by the hundreds, but in the end, they were victorious. I have sealed the tomb as best I can and told the men of the nearby village that the Prophet is at last dead. I left them with a the subtle threat that this place should remain hidden. I do not know if the Prophet survived, but I will follow their trail. No one escapes the Order of Trinity. Mongolian. So just in case you haven't actually played the game for yourself, every time I pick up one of those manuscripts, one of those documents, you go into the pause menu and uh, you get this voiceover of someone reading out their thoughts uh, as if they were writing them down. In the last episode, I cut a lot of that out uh, simply because I didn't think it would be very appealing to sort of sit in a pause menu while some guy reads something to you. But I find some of the backstory could actually be quite interesting and it adds to the feeling of what we're actually doing here and what's going on with the prophet. Trinity? Trinity? Oh shit. What the hell was that? 
Um, I have a good guess as to what that was, but back to my original thought. So I'm going to try to uh, use some post-gaming editing to kind of layer in those historical documents, just to give you a bit more background info, so I hope that's fine. A crown from one of the princes of Kiev. How did it come to be all the way out here? Looks a bit chewed up, if you're asking me. Oh well, I guess no one will miss it. Or did it actually do that again? I tried to shoot down the godforsaken bird's nest and it's just sitting there again? Seriously? Well, that was useful. <sighs> ah, okay. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. Oh, unless... Is that the Mongolian ruins? I think we'd better go and check those. This might be a chance to level up my Mongolian. These characters look... Mongolian. But I can't read what it says. Haha, <laughs> I knew I'd be learning some Mongolian. And speaking of Mongolian, it's such a shame they cancelled Marco Polo. I really like that show. I guess I've just got to get my Mongolian fix through Lara Croft rather than Marco Polo then. But yeah, if you haven't seen the show, I think it's on Netflix. Definitely worth looking into. If you like martial arts and that kind of stuff, yeah, it's, it's a good show. Are those pigeons looking at me funny? That'll teach him. Ooh, one feather. Yeah, I guess it's worth murdering a pigeon to gain one feather. Jeez, talk about wasteful. They should really consider changing the tagline of this game. This isn't Lara Croft Tomb Raider or Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's Lara Croft Wildlife Assassin. If you have four legs and a face, prepare to be eradicated. I'm starting to get the feeling I can't actually slaughter it with my climbing axe. Fine. Have an arrow in the knee then. Oh, so that's what the feathers are for. And twigs. Oh, wow. Feathers and twigs makes arrows. Sure. I'm, I'm sure that's how it works. Ah, and I have a feeling I've been here before. Strange deja vu, I think they call it. Yes, my strong and infallible sense of direction has, in fact, led me around in a full circle. Right, I think uh, back to business. Uh, there was that strange and distressing uh, radio communication by the Trinity Group. I think we should investigate straight after gathering some more twigs and pigeon feathers. Because, of course, you can never have enough twigs or pigeon feathers. No way to pull that down yet. Oh, sneaky. The old you don't have the right gear to get past here yet, come back later trick. It seems we're not only playing Assassin's Creed, but also some kind of Zelda slash Resident Evil hybrid. Ooh, we found a piece of map, and look at all these goodies! So many exciting things to collect, it's, it's almost unbelievable! I can barely contain myself... for joy. No, I'm, I'm joking. I mean, the, the collectibles in this game, they're, they're fun enough. It's not like the first Assassin's Creed, where you had to collect flags, and then those flags didn't even get you anything, because back then, it was so early on in the PlayStation 3's life cycle, that there weren't even achievements. No achievement, no unlocks, nothing, 
for running around and collecting hundreds of flags and there was no in-game map that helped you discover them. Nothing. I felt so cheated by the original Assassin's Creed, the very first one, and the flag collecting that for years I stopped collecting anything in any game. I just played the game, I didn't care about any kind of collectibles unless there was a significant unlock. So thank you, Assassin's Creed. I mean, it's been almost 10 years now and I still remember the feeling of, of being cheated into spending so much time and effort on virtually nothing. No, in fact, on less than nothing. Okay, time to move on. And is it me or does this music seem rather ominous? Deep snow. Snow slows down movement and inhibits some actions. Oh, okay, um, I've not really been in any rush up until now, so I guess that's good to know. Thanks? There's always time to gather some more twigs. Survey team, please respond. We got some interference on that last transmission. Oh, interference, they call it. I guess that's one name for it. We lost contact with a survey <laughs> Oh, baby Jesus. Um, I think I want to start running. Keep going, woman. Don't stop. Okay, okay, I think I think we're gonna make this. Oh, oh my goodness, that is horrifying. Oh, and we're doing it straight again. Okay, okay, uh, shoot, what do we do? Um, uh, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna try and jump it. We need to jump the deep snow. Yes, we've made it. No, 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 we've made it not. Okay, think. Try and stay calm. Uh, we're gonna use that log. We're gonna run across the log and then jump. Yes, yes, we've made it. I think we're home and safe. No, no, in fact, we're not safe. Um, melee, what's melee? This one. Yeah, take that. Wow, that bear is tenacious. I mean, uh, an ice climbing pick to the face and he's still coming? What did I ever do to you? Oh, uh, apart from murder all your friends. Is that what this is about? The, the pigeons and the deer? Right in the back of the neck. Take that. Is that it? Have we made it? I, I think we made it. Oh, goodness me. Well, I, I think it's time for another little break. Uh, just just roll the end cutscene. I'll see you next time, guys. <laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. <laughs> Are you going on another adventure? Yes, my greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business, it's too dangerous. Lara, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, darling, I need to take this. <laughs> 